There's always something that you can learn. What AQ did for me is, is open up my mind to trying, you know, certain techniques or practices. I'm passionate about teaching. And now that I have taken this course, I think it's an investment in things that I'm going to be doing for the next, I don't know, five, ten years. How can I improve my courses goes a long way, particularly as a new faculty member, right? Where oftentimes some of the PhD programs you come from, it's kind of like, hey, you're teaching this class, this class, go for it, right? Make it your own, create the syllabus. But now it's actually time to say, hey, there's actually practices that work when we talk about teaching. AQ, it validated the things that I've been doing, but it does help refine it. So I had, for example, learning outcomes in my courses. It didn't direct it at the student as being the, the learning, the, the person that, that's learning. And, and so while I indicated this is going to be some concept or some feature you're going to learn, by putting it on the student, the student is going to apply this. The student is going to understand. And I literally bring those learning outcomes back during the student's reflection. Do you feel like you've learned this? And some of them that feel like they're just overwhelmed, they're like, oh, of course I feel like I've learned that. And while I may not have gotten the grade, have I achieved that program learning outcome or that course learning outcome? This semester we started a journal on meditation. So every student goes and writes a little bit about them and it's just phenomenal. I thought it's going to be more work for me to read all that, but uh, the way they open up to me, you know, I'm so much more connected with them now. So the, the journal concept was a new concept for me. So providing other activities where students can contribute and earn those contribution points and earn those active participation points by, for example, doing group activities where we have uh, a small group that gets together and dis discusses some things and then presents back to, to the entire class. So it gives everyone the opportunity to be an active participant without feeling like they have to speak up in a large classroom setting where they might not be as comfortable. So the Jigsaw method, active learning method, is where you take a chapter and take different parts and assign different students or different groups those portions. Then you ask them to learn and they're going to teach their, their fellow students what they learned. So there's that jigsaw, but then they have to master it pretty well. And I found that students then end up learning and soaking that material very well. And I think it was well received despite that I was doing it the first time. Well, first of all, I shared my own experience because I'm first generation and I came to NIU in 1987. Um, and I was the first person in my family to do this. So I didn't have role models at home in my immediate family to, you know, help me be, to help me thrive here and be successful. So I let them know that I'm always here as a resource. Uh, one of the most impactful teaching techniques I used from the AQ model modules was the idea of embracing diversity. Um, I've done some of the things in terms of including inclusive statements on my syllabus and whatnot, but one thing that stands out is the idea of how are you creating sense of belonging in the classroom because I think that really goes a long way. One of the things I learned from AQ is that learning comes from inside the student, but faculty have the opportunity to create a sense of belonging to help that learning come up from the student learning perspective and being able to say, hey, I'm creating this environment for you to be able to succeed. Now you can utilize that as a way to grow as learners within my classroom. Having access to additional resources that make us better educators makes our university better, our university is better, students want to come here, and it continues to grow. The work that's required or committing to the AQE course is an investment like many other investments that you sacrifice on the front end, and then once you're done investing, it starts paying back. And who does it pay back to? I think to students and to me as an instructor.
if you're committed and passionate about teaching, you feel good when your students feel good about learning and enjoying taking your course. My day-to-day -day interactions with students, it's so much more fun and rewarding because the students feel they're seen and heard. I mean, what else, what else would they want? So it's easy for me to get their attention because they know that I care about them, that I connect with them. Uh, AQ definitely helped me, gave me the tools to connect with them better.